Welcome back everyone, it's Onyx here once again bringing you another comprehensive brawler guide and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to play Colt, so let's get to it. Alright, so Colt is by far one of the best long range brawlers in the game. His maximum range is 9 tiles and he deals out an enormous amount of damage and his super attack is 11 tiles and deals double the damage of his main attack and breaks through walls. And his star power is to get a movement speed increase which actually makes him a little bit faster than tanks when you unlock that. So moving into Colt's best game mode and believe it or not it's actually going to be Solo Showdown. And the reason Colt is so amazing in Solo Showdown is because he can shred through your power cube boxes and collect a ton of power cubes right off bat and he absolutely dominates tanks but the best tip that I have for you with Colt is to not use auto aim. Colt is so much better when you use manual aim and the reason for that being is that he doesn't just let out one blast shot with a huge spread and he doesn't just let out one big straight shot that's going to hit the target regardless of how you're aiming. He lets out six shots and a super attack lets out 12 shots. And these shots take some time to get to their target. And something that comes into account with that is your movement. And we here in Brawl Stars, we call that strafing. So while you're aiming with Colt, you're actually going to have to adjust your movement from side to side or back and forth to help you land more shots. And now this can be kind of difficult to master, but the more you practice it, the better you're going to get with it. I haven't even mastered it myself, but have him cold up the 500 trophies. I think I'm fairly decent with it. And this is a huge benefit for Colt. As you can see in the video here, some of these shots that I'm making, you would definitely not be able to do that with auto aim. So moving on from that, Showdown is his best game mode because he's great at killing tanks. And you see a lot of tanks in Solo Showdown. It's just awesome. And you're going to see... If you haven't already picked up on some of the gameplay here, I'm taking on a Primo and a Pam now left in this match. And you can just absolutely dominate these kind of brawlers. Now one person that I would watch out for is Brock. And that's because you can kind of juke and get close or further away from other brawlers as you need to. But Brock outranges Colt. And Brock's shots don't deal any less damage the closer you get to him. So to get within Brock's range with Colt, you're probably going to be taking more shots. He's probably going to be landing more shots on you than you're landing on him. Unless he's just not very good with Brock. He's one brawler that I'll watch out for. And of course, your tanks, you don't want to get too close to them at all. You want to use Colt's range to your advantage. So looking at some of the gameplay here, you can kind of see this Primo knows what's up. He's, he's actually hiding. He's trying to do his best to wait until the poison closes in and he can get close to me and this Pam. But I just don't see that happening right now. So you, we're going to go ahead and take out this El Primo here. And now I'm going to turn the tide on Pam. And you saw me just strafe into that. So moving on to Colt's best or arguably his what's tied for best 3v3 mode is going to be Heist. And Colt is so fantastic in heist because of his range and his damage and he makes a great support brawler in heist and then on top of that his ability to have such a long range with his super attack and break through walls he can deal damage to the safe at such a huge distance and you can actually deal damage through brawlers through the safe and it's just crazy like Colt can take out everything on the path to the safe and breaking those walls down makes it easier for your tankier brawlers and your other support brawlers to get in easy shots in on the safe as you're pushing up. And then Colt, his range, you definitely have to use that to his advantage. So in that past game, Primo really did the rest of the work the rest of the match. So I'm going to move into another one right here. And I'm sh just showing you more of the same thing with Colt. Manual aiming with Colt is very important. If you haven't picked up on some of the gameplay here, I'm landing a ton more shots than you would if you were using auto aim. And I really want to drive that point home because you're going to have so much more success with Colt when you're using manual aim. And that's with both his regular and his super attacks. As you can see here, I'm just doing crazy amount of damage to the safe here. And it's actually given my other brawler some space to move in on the safe and do damage as well. And at this point, we were doing so good and Colt was just ripping them up so bad that this te other team just pretty much gave up on. And you can push trophies very fast with Colt. 
in showdown and in heist because he's so awesome in these game modes and these are two or uh, brawl ball and heist are two of the easiest fastest game modes to put his trophies in so which brings me to the brawl ball match here this is actually cult probably another one of his best 3v3 game modes probably right there tied with heist though i favor heist a little bit and he kind of has the same role and Brawl Ball as he does Heist. And that's to play more of a support role and then use his super to break down walls so your tank or your ball carrier can get in on the goal a lot easier. Now one of the things you don't want to do with Colt is kind of what you just saw me do there and I accidentally broke out some of my own walls. And you, you kind of want to prevent yourself from doing that unless you just absolutely have to to stop them from scoring it's going to benefit you much more to charge up your super and take out the walls in front of you so your teammates can score much much easier now rolling into another game of that of cults that is absolutely awesome is going to be bounty now you got to watch out for brock especially in this game mode like i was saying earlier in showdown brock is going to probably give colt his biggest problem or like another cult and sometimes when you get into the higher levels of gameplay, there's some tricky mortises in there that can actually wear cold out pretty good. But for the most part, you're going to see Pipers in Bounty a lot, and you're going to see Brocks in Bounty a lot. And if you're not careful with them, because they outrange you, they will be able to rip Colt to shreds. But he's definitely awesome enough in Bounty to be able to take him into this game mode consistently and win just because of his damage being so high. And then using his super to your advantage he's going to work out really well for you playing bounty so one of the strategies in bounty is to kind of maintain a lane you want to divide the playing field up into three different sections like left center and right and stay in that lane but as you play along you got to adjust which lane you're in to matchups that are favorable to you so what i'm going to try and do here is take on the shelly and the primo the most because I have a further range than both of them and I'll be able to take them out a lot easier and hopefully the Brock here would be taking on the Colt and the Nita here she would be alternating like me in between the Primo and the Shelly and Nita and Colt can really do some work on the L Primo and Shelly if they're good enough to and you see I'm just kind of clearing out some space here using his range to his advantage and strafing and manual aiming are so important with Colt and even if you miss some shots every now and then it's going to be okay because when you do actually get it down and start landing shots it's going to be so much more rewarding than you just spamming that auto aim button i'm telling you please if you want to do good with colt and push up with trophies absolutely use the manual aim no matter how long it takes you to get good with it by the time you're pushing up trophies you're going to start getting better and better and you're going to do that much better and it's going to be that much easier for you to push up in these game modes so that's pretty much going to be it for all these game modes with Colt. If you haven't entered my giveaway already, I'm doing a giveaway for $50 right here on this channel. And I'll provide a link to that video and you can go comment in it what your favorite baller is to enter that giveaway for a chance to win $50. I appreciate everybody watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.